Hey everyone, my name is Titan Crush, and welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. As you all might know, last weekend was the Gold and Glory weekend in Sea of Thieves, meaning double loot and reputation for everything. I wanted to see how rich I could get in one hour of playing Sea of Thieves, although it ended up being closer to two due to unforeseen circumstances. Uh, what was that? Stop putting holes in my ship, please. Uh. This, the game is broken, guys. This ended up being more of a chill, live sort of guide on Flameheart, so you can follow some of the things I do to solo him. And with that said, let's get into it. Now, like I said, it's Golden Glory Weekend, which I believe means that all loot is multiplied by 1.5. So, on average, I get... Anywhere from 80,000 to 100,000 from Flameheart with a Reaper flag. So if we do that successfully today, multiply that by 1.5, we could be getting up to 150k in, I don't know, an hour from one Flameheart. So, right now, I'm going to go raise a Reaper flag. And we are going to go try to solo Flameheart and not get sunk in the process. Now remember, it is Golden Glory Weekend, which means everyone is gonna be after Flameheart. So if we see a ship on the horizon, we could have a fight. And it would probably end up with me losing most of my loot. But yeah, let's just give it a go. Also, real quick, if you look right here, you will notice that my hole is a bit greenish. Here, let me get a better look. And that is because I, from the Plunder Pass, the free version of the Plunder Pass, I earned enough ancient coins to buy the, both the Black Pearl and the Davy Jones hole. And I paired it with this figurehead from level 100. So we now have, I don't know what to call this ship. So if you'd like to vote on a name in the comments, that would be great. And let us set sail. We are hopefully ready to go. Hopefully it won't sink because sometimes it does happen that, you know, you're not very warmed up. Where you get a bit unlucky and then Flameheart sinks you. But I have soloed him in the past by myself. It took a while. I'm just hoping that we won't have any unwanted guests or visitors. Uh, let's go with that. Alright. We are ready for combat. As you guys know, I am fairly good at PvE. I'm bad at PvP. And there goes Mr. Flameface uh, with the taunting. By the way, guys, did you know that in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, there is actually a pirate named Captain Flameface? I thought that was interesting. I didn't realize that that was there. Oh, we have a challenger coming up in front of us. Let's do this. Got my favorite cannons right here. Watch my can aiming guide. Okay, okay, okay. Bam. Bam. Bam! Alright, perfect start. Not perfect start. <laughs> Hit with a Wraith Ball already, right off the top. That's nice. Alright, coming up on the left side. So guys, I'm gonna walk you- I already did a Ghost Fleet guide. I haven't done a Flame Heart guide yet, but I will. So I'll kind of, kind of walk you through how I do it. Um, the trick for Sloop- oh gosh, I missed that. Oh no, I didn't. The trick for Sloop is to weave. Weave on diagonals, weave in between the ships, and never be directly alongside it, except more the, for longer than a few seconds, unless you're about to kill them. Don't ever go through a ship, don't get sandwiched in between ships. Always be going in circles and zigzags and whatever you need to do, but do not just go full on straight into battle, you know? We did that once with a Brigantine. The first time I ever did Flameheart, we sunk in about 30 seconds because we got sandwiched in between like 20 galleons, so be careful. Alright, let's see who we got. I always try to pull up either in front or behind the ship, but don't try to follow it because they drop mines. Which hurt. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. Heading for collision. No. Gosh. Oh. Please. All right. All right. This is a not good. This is not good at all. I'm sailing into a ship. No. What? 
Whoa, 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 don't take my mask down. Ooh, this is not good. Already having trouble, but we will survive, hopefully. Alright, we can start fixing the top deck. I mean, by which I mean the mast. <laughs> I just hope I don't get hit in the face with two Wraith Balls again, game. Really? That's how you're gonna play today? No, 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 no. Oh gosh. Holy, that's not good. And we're back to square one, guys! <laughs> Alright, alright, last hole, last hole, last hole. Let's see, we, we can do it, we can do it, guys. We can actually get out of here and try again. This was bad. Oh, guys, that was horrible. I probably wasted like 20 minutes doing that. Uh, stop putting holes in my ship, please. Gosh. Alright, we are back to the fight. I'm not sure why we're going so fast. BAM! Mm, I'm not sure about that, Mr. Flying Face. Now you'll notice if I have one hole, or even two, I won't fix it right away. And that's because on a sloop, you sink very slowly. On a brigantine, do not ignore a hole. On a sloop, you can. Uh, just don't leave it there for too long. Especially if you get hit with a Wraith Ball, I'd go fix right away, because those give you three holes. Okay, which one of these has the pineapple? What? What happened? Hello? What? Guys? Uh oh. What is this? Uh. This. The game is broken, guys. What is this? Alright, guys. I just. <laughs> I just exited the game. I'm relaunching quickly. Um. Because it, it's broken. What was that? Sea of Thieves? Please. It, it just doesn't want me to get gold today, does it? It doesn't want me to get rich. <laughs> First, I just get stuck in bailing for like 20 minutes, and now it just glitched out my game and I had to leave. I don't know how to fix that menu glitch. If you guys know, please let me know. Alright, let's turn around and go back. I don't... <laughs> oh, and there's a storm coming this way. Isn't that just awesome? Alright, it seems like they're both going the same way. If they're both going the same way, I suggest taking the one in the back. Because if you take the ones in the front and you get stuck somehow, then you have another group coming towards you. Like, if you get stuck in the bailing mode I was in, and then this group comes and, like, sails through you behind you, you're basically dead. So try to, as always, avoid cannon range and try to avoid getting hit by them. And, oh, please, no storm. I sold Flameheart in the middle of Storm once. It was awful. That was the worst thing I've ever did. Done. I did do it though. It was horrible. <laughs> See, now I turn behind them and hope that they don't hit me, which they will, it looks like. Maybe not. I'm gonna steady out and come up behind them and pick off their support ships first. Oh, that was close. Bam, bam, bam. Now can I hit the far one? I do see a ghost crate, and what it looks like is happening is one is on an inner ring, one is on the outer ring, so that one will actually start getting ahead of the outer one. So, I might just cut now to the outer one. And pick up the ghost crate on the way. I'm a bit behind them, but I'm gonna try to pick them off with a far shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't hit those things, cause that was bad. Mod. Take a few shots on the middle one. I believe they take about ten cannonballs to kill.
can't pick it off, come on. Yes! Sniper shots, guys. Uh, what was that? Sea of Thieves, are you still broken? I thought we were past this. Uh, <laughs> ignore that weird guy, I don't know what that was. It probably thinks there's still a ghost ship there. 20 years, my friends. You threw a lot at me and I survived as a solo sleeper. Oh! Please don't hit me. No, 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 this is not good. I'm in the middle of ships again. Alright, I need to get out of here. The last thing you want to do is get sandwiched. And most of the time I get sandwiched when I'm trying to go for a loot like this. Not good. We are the sailors, my friend. Pure luck? That was skill, man. It takes practice to get this good at cannon aim. By which I mean I'm still really bad, but it still take took practice, so... Whoa! There's no need to get that angry. Don't be salty, I know it's a game about the ocean, but there's no need to... ...have that high of a salt level. Yes. Supplies. More supplies to add to my collection. Oh, this is a bad angle. No, 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 please. Why? I refuse to be defeated by you. I'm gonna have to take this weird path. Oh, no, we're in a storm, aren't we? Please don't start turning my wheel. Not yet. It's turning my wheel. No, that's not the agreement we had. Storm. It's not supposed to go this way. Yeah, I don't know who was making the textures, but they apparently had the effects overlay each other, so they just start making this. A portal into the abyss. <laughs> Alright, turn, 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 Okay, we're coming up sort of sideways, that's good enough for me. I need you. Go down. Yeah, you do, because you're going to be out soon. Please don't go into me, it's going to go into me. Uh, that does not sound good. Woo! Don't get knocked off your ship, guys. If you're solo, that's rule number one. Don't leave your ship Ooh, perfect idea guys if you haven't seen my tabs video go check it out let's make flame heart or as we like to call him flame face in tabs no 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 why you do this why must there always be a crash all right you should be close to dying right all right black lines of death is that shit that's not what I want to do. No, it's a shipwreck. That's no ship, sir. It's a shipwreck. Oh, come on, please. Please! Oh, cannonballs. Not the wraith ball, please. Alright, let's go. Last is a few zigzags, please. Come on. Yes. Uh, how about you give me the rest of your treasure and then I'll cease it. Then you can take your ship and I'll just leave. And we all sail away happily ever after. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, I need to turn away.
Now I can focus on the main man. You don't need to do this. Let's talk about this. Ooh! That right there is probably the scariest thing is you, thieves. Alright, last one! Flameheart, you're down to one ship. What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna cry. He should be crying. Alright, is that a ship? That is a galleon. Hopefully not coming after me. Well guys, at this point a galleon showed up and nearly sank me, so I had to run away, especially considering the fact that I'm a solo slooper. I may not have finished Flameheart all the way, but I still did most of it and got a ton of loot. So I forgot how much money I started at when I was recording, but I have now calculated that from an hour and a half I made 142,935 gold. It could have been more, but it's not bad, especially if you're actually good at the game, unlike me. So yeah, next Gold and Glory weekend, be sure to stop by the seas and cash in. This was a bit of a weird video. It was both an experiment in money making and a half guide on how to solo Flameheart. Hopefully you could learn something new from this video, and I'll have a complete guide on Flameheart soon. Anyway, please consider liking and subscribing, it helps me and my channel out, and you can undo it at any time. And with that said, happy sailing.